in order for us to understand machine learning we need to know how the traditional programming works now remember when I said we in machine learning we give the data and we give the output which is the outcomes and then the machine learning find something called patterns in the data and at the, at the end it gives me the instructions or the rules of the program let me just start from the all over again in traditional programming I give the data and I write the instructions which is if and loop and all this stuff in programming and the computer compiles it and it gives me the output but in machine learning I'm the one who's giving the data but instead of writing the instructions I give the, the output and from that output and the data the machine learning finds a pattern in it and it gives me the instructions you'll be like how okay let's just go to the next slide here if I am uh, driving a car and I have three categories which is one is over speed and then and we have normal and we have slow if I'm doing this or I'm writing this program in a traditional program I'm gonna be doing it like this in if and else if the vehicle speed is greater than 100 then the drive label is gonna be over speed else if vehicle speed is greater than 40 but it's smaller than 100 which is between 40 and 100 the driving category is going to be normal he is driving normal else which means less than 40 is going to be slow this is how it's done in traditional programming i'm pretty sure you guys already know that and the data that i'm going to give is going to be the vehicle speed if i write 50 here here is telling me if it's greater than 40 and less than 100 is going to be normal so that after uh, right I, after I enter the 50 in the vehicle speed the computer is going to compile this code and it's giving me the normal okay let's say I want to do the same thing in machine learning or deep learning this is the outcome this is what the program is giving me and this is the data okay this is the data and this is the output or outcome here in machine learning I'm the one who's giving the output now you'll be like how I'm giving you the output because I already have the data from the last year or from previous uh, experimentation or something like that but and, and I'm the one who's giving the data here the vehicle speed I'm always giving the data in both ways and machine learning and deep learning is going to find the rules or the instructions which is this thing this is the how is going to find it by finding pattern okay let's say I have a bunch of spreadsheets okay and I have let's say I have a spreadsheet here it's called drive okay uh, drive speed okay and then I have the outcome let's say drive speed here I have 50 uh, let's say vehicle 1 and the outcome is going to be normal let's say I have 150 according to this rule if the vehicle speed is greater than 100 then it's going to be over speed and so on so this is the vehicle 2 and so on. let's say I have to vehicle 1000 or 10,000 by feeding this data the entire data into the algorithms okay this is the data by the way this this data is this data and these are the labels the outcomes which is here and the machine learning is going to go and check let's say vehicle 1 was 50 normal vehicle 2 is 150 over speed if there is a vehicle let's say 999 
it's 175. According to the rule or the pattern he found, if it's anything is higher than 100, I mean, I'm pretty sure there, there are going to be other data here, which is going to be, let's say, uh, vehicle 844, which is going to be, let's say, 100, is going to be what? Normal, because there is an equal sign here. So let's say 157. Since the 150 is over speed, obviously the 175 is going to be also over speed, even though it wasn't there in the data. But by finding the patterns by itself, the machine learning algorithms find found the pattern here, and he was like, you know what? According to the data he, that this guy gave me, anything is greater than 100. It was labeled over speed since 175 is higher than 100 i'm gonna give give it as an over speed sometimes it, it makes mistakes it all depends on the data that you give okay this is how it works uh, let's make a smaller example here in data i have two numbers okay let's say x and y five x is five and y is five and the program is that I'm going to make in traditional programming is an addition program, which means I'm going to end up adding these two numbers. In traditional programming, since the program, the instructions is like, let's say, x plus y equal to z, the output's going to be z. 10, 5 plus 5, 10. Simple, easy peasy. Same thing if I'm making on machine learning, I'm going to give him the data. As I said, I'm always giving the data. But instead of I give him the program here, I'm going to give him the output. So the machine learning algorithm, algorithm is going to be like, okay, I have two numbers here and I have also an output as a number. So let's say 5 minus 5 equals 0. Is it the same as the output? No? Well, then a, a subtraction is cancelled. Let's say 5 multiplied by 5. It's going to be 25. Is it the same as 10? No. Well, then multiplication is wrong. F uh, 5 divided by 5 equal 1. Is it the same as an output? Nope. So the division is cancelled. 5 plus 5 is 10. Is it the same as an output? Yes. Then the pattern that I found was addition. This is in simple terms, guys, okay? Let's take a real example. I'm pretty sure most of you uh, got a smartphone. I mean, pretty sure some of you is watching this course on smartphone. And in smartphone, we have something called the weather widget, which basically gives me the data or the temperature for today and for some reason or i don't know how is giving me for tomorrow and on saturday or on sunday or on monday which means it's giving me the temperature for the five day forecast i mean how he knows that i mean i'm still in today you know i don't know maybe tomorrow is going to rain after that rain cloudy and rain, rain and whatever so how do the how do they find this thing i mean how the weather for uh, widget or the, the app works here he gave he took the data from that last year which is this is the date this is the maximum temperature was on that date and then minimum temperature and humidity and the run rainfall and the outlook or just the output is cloudly which is written here and same thing here the data is going to find a pattern let's say if it if it the max temperature was 43 and the minimum was 27 the humidity was for uh, 54 then and rainfall was zero then there's a big chance that day is going to be sunny sometimes it's wrong but most of the time it's correct same concept of this example but in this data this is how the machine learning is different between traditional programming i hope it was clear thank you so much see you in the next video